let us see the graph of some of the some of the liquids and how their vapor pressure varies with the temperature okay how it varies with temperature this is the vapor pressure in in m m hg okay that is the that is the unit of it now 760 mm that i have marked in red this point this point is actually the atmospheric pressure hmm? 760 mm hg is 180 m one atmosphere okay so that is one atmosphere now look at diethyl ether what happens it reaches 760 mm hg at at around 308 k so this is 308 k okay and it keeps on increasing like this in comparison to this we have carbon tetrachloride reaching here at 349.7 k and ethyl alcohol reaching 760 mmhg at 351.3 k and and this water reaching it at 373k we see that they always increase with they always increase with with the with the temperature right they always increase with the temperature and it is the characteristic of the fluid so so it does not depend on the volume of the fluid does not depend upon the space above the fluid it just is there okay and that is the beauty of it okay now what happens as we start raising the temperature as we start heating the liquid or, or increasing the temperature of the ambience what happens the vapor pressure starts going up and up and up okay so with increase in temperature with increase in temperature the vapor pressure of the liquid goes up the vapor pressure of the liquid starts increasing starts increasing okay and suppose it reaches the the ambient pressure whatever is the pressure above it suppose suppose what i am trying to say is here in the bell jar the pressure was going up okay now suppose i remove that jar and keep on heating the liquid so what happens its vapor pressure is going up though though you're not able to measure it you 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 sitting in this room or standing in this room will not be able to understand that the vapor pressure is going up because the volume is so huge and there are leakages in the room so you won't understand that the pressure has gone up fine but it indeed is going up okay it is going up imagine yourself under a big bell jar then you'll feel that pressure going up okay now what happens the moment the moment so 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 suppose it is something like this and it has fluid inside it okay and 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 you are you are heating it you are you are heating it say it's put over something okay maybe something like this and it's being heated okay so that let it be a let it be a tripod or a table kind of thing or a table kind of thing and, and say there is a burner 
and you start heating it. And you start heating it. So what happens? This liquid, its, it's vapor pressure starts going up. And a moment comes when its vapor pressure equals the pressure above it. Okay? As we raise the temperature, the temperature, we reach a point where the vapor pressure equals the equals the the pressure of the surrounding or atmospheric pressure when we are in the open when we are in the open fine when we are in the open now what happens the moment you reach there so your molecules so what is happening your molecules are gaining strength as your temperature is going up so they are gaining strength and they're shooting into the atmosphere right so the process of evaporation has gone up why because they were till now gathering the gathering the energy from the ambient now your heat has provided them that much energy so that they are able to freely move into the ambient and the rate of evaporation goes up a point reaches but it is still happening from the surface let us try to understand it is still happening from the surface a point comes in when your temperature becomes so high that it gives so much energy to the molecules that the molecules from the bulk also start shooting into, into the atmosphere understand so the temperature at which the molecules from the bulk at which the molecules from the bulk start moving into the atmosphere or or or, or start moving into the gaseous state gaseous state that means whatever was the intermolecular attraction between them has been overcome by the by the thermal energy we have seen that the thermal energy is the destabilizer right the intermolecular attraction is the stabilizer while the while the thermal energy is the destabilizer it makes the molecules vibrate and then overcome the attraction and then then move move in the random directions so the moment the, at which the molecules from the bulk start moving into the gaseous state, the liquid is said to have started boiling. The liquid is said to have started boiling. Get the point. The liquid is now boiling. Okay. The liquid starts boiling. So, so, so let us try to see diethyl ether. I keep on increasing the temperature at 308K, which is how many degrees centigrade? That is 35 degrees centigrade. At 35 degrees centigrade, at 35 degrees centigrade, its vapor pressure becomes equal to, equal to the atmospheric pressure. So the boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. 
when it is equal to the atmospheric pressure you call it the standard boiling point when it is equal to the equal to one bar you call it normal boiling point and since one bar is slightly less than the atmospheric pressure the normal boiling point is slightly less than the standard boiling point understand so so but but, but boiling is a bulk phenomenon when you say that 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 the liquid has started boiling when the molecules from the bulk start moving into the atmosphere right so so the temperature at which at which the vapor pressure of the liquid the vapor pressure of the liquid equals the atmospheric pressure is called the standard boiling point is called the standard boiling point the standard boiling point the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid equals equals one bar is called the normal it's called the normal boiling point So it is used for ethyl, uh, diethyl ethyl, right? Not all of them. No, 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 no. So, so it tells me that here the standard boiling point of diethyl ether is thirty-five degree centigrade, mm -hmm. and the normal boiling point for carbon tetrachloride is is seventy-three point seven degree centigrade, mm -hmm. seventy-six point seven, uh, uh, seventy-six point. 7 degree centigrade right so this is 76.77 degree centigrade and this is this is this is 78.3 degree centigrade so this is 78.3 degree centigrade and and our water is at 100 degree centigrade okay since one bar is less than one atm atm we have we have the normal boiling point being lesser than the standard boiling point okay so what is the standard boiling point of water 100 degree centigrade the normal boiling point of water is 99.6 degree centigrade slightly less because because you see what happens it reaches that point suppose this is one bar then it reaches that point a bit earlier no a bit earlier any one of them that's all A and we know that it increases with temperature so there is, there is no anomaly there it is monotonically increases increasing we call it monotonic okay monotonic monotone monotone is single tone that means if it is increasing it is increasing there is no point that it will go up and it will come down no fine we get the point so this is how the vapor pressure behaves and how it is linked with the boiling point correct okay 
Now, what happens if you go high above the mountains, then what happens? The pressure there starts going, going down. So what happens? The boiling point starts going down because suppose you go, go up and you see that the pressure here is only 700, then the boiling point is here only, right? So it, it, it's, it's, it's less than, it's less than, this is 373, so this is maybe less than this, okay? This is 373, maybe somewhere here, somewhere here. So, so, so it goes, becomes less. This is an approximate kind of figure, maybe there's some deviation here and there. Fine, so, so just indicative. So, so what happens, it is, uh, if it goes down, so as the pressure goes down, your, your boiling point also becomes less. So at high altitudes, you'll have, you'll have your boiling point lesser than what you expect it to be. So the cooking becomes difficult. So you have to inevitably use the pressure cooker. What does the pressure cooker do? There, there you, you heat it up, the pressure above it starts going up. And finally, what happens? The boiling point, is the boiling point, the boiling point goes up. Understand? Okay? So as we, as we, as we go high, higher up the mountains, higher up the mountains, what happens? The pressure I mean the atmospheric pressure, the atmospheric pressure goes down. And what happens? And hence, the boiling point, the boiling point decreases. Okay, so it is imperative to, so, 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 so it is imperative to, so it is imperative to, it's quite necessary to cook food in pressure cooker, pressure cookers. Okay, fine. So this is number one.